Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder, and a lot of people ask, what's the best mix for rendering? And that may even be why you've arrived at this video. Well, it's one of those questions. It all depends. It depends an awful lot on what you're rendering onto. Now, the golden rule is that you never make the mix stronger than the material that you're going onto. So here we've got lightweight concrete block and it's 3.6 kilonewtons and we don't want a really really strong mix for this because if the wall moves and the wall will move you always get a bit of expansion and contraction as the seasons go then you don't want the render to be the thing that's stopping the wall from moving because if you do the render will crack also if you put too much cement in render it shrinks back and it will crack people don't believe that i see loads and loads of plasters who do a three to one mix and they go oh it's nice and strong now if you think about it think about a great big piece of concrete that's six inches thick if you made it the size of a garden say it would crack the fact it's six inches thick and it's got loads of cement in it doesn't stop it cracking because there's no real tensile strength in it. So there's no point in putting too much cement in. You will cause it to crack. So we make a nice 611, we call it, which is six parts of sand. Now the sand that you need to use is plastering sand or rendering sand. It's not building sand. Do not use building sand for rendering because it shrinks and cracks and it's a nightmare. You can put a little bit of building sand in it sometimes. If the, if the sand's a little bit hungry, a little bit hard to work, then maybe you can put five shovels of rendering sand in and one shovel of building sand. Certainly won't do any harm in the base coat, but when you do that top coat, my recommendation is keep it nice and sharp and keep that lime in there and you won't have any trouble. One part of cement and one part of lime. Now that is hydrated lime. It's important that you don't put any more than one part of lime to one part of cement because lime will not set, hydrated lime as opposed to hydraulic lime will not set on its own. So you need that cement in there to help it set. But what it does do is it gives it body and it makes it creamy and it gives it a certain amount of elasticity. If the building moves, the render will kind of go with it a little bit. And if you do get a crack, all that lime that's in the mix will kind of wash into the crack recalcify to some extent just as it does when it's forming stalactites and stalagmites and so on so in a way it's self curing it's self rendering so the lime is important a lot of renderers don't put it in because it's a pain to put in you've got to buy another bag of stuff they prefer to use plasticizer which puts lots of bubbles into the mix which is a good thing you want lots of air in your mix but the lime is a better bet now having said that on this base coat I don't care too much I'm just going to go with six of sand one of cement and a bit of plasticizer and on the top coat, you'll see the difference when I put the lime on. Now, when you're making the mix up, it's best to leave it sitting around after you've made it up for about five or 10 minutes. That just allows it to pick up. And then it goes onto your spot board like that. Now, the big test is, is this mix the right consistency? Is it the right wetness? The test is this, yeah? If it's not dropping off your spot board, then it's right. And then it sits on the wall and not on the floor. So when you come to do it, you'll see that it actually just sits nicely on the wall without flopping away. So we're gonna come back, we're gonna show you how to render, but that was just a little bit about the mix. Now, obviously, at different times of the year if it's a very hot summer you don't really want to be rendering because if you render the water will dry out of the mix too quickly and it won't hydrate properly this time of year this is the winter we're in january and uh, it's pretty cold pretty windy but actually it's not going to be a frost tonight so it's absolutely ideal for rendering it gives us loads of working time so in the summer if you want to do a rendering job get up early in the morning I'm Roger Bisbee. Thanks very much for watching. Come back and see the rest of our rendering series. Make up the playlist and we'll be back to show you the next stage. And don't forget to subscribe, by the way. We need subscribers like I need blood in my body.